I welcome you all for today's session in Baijus classes. Myself, Roshan Pandey. The topic for today is structure of atom. Atom is a fundamental term used to describe any piece of particle. So what exactly atom is? The study on atom will begin as early as 5th century BC. A great philosopher, Democritus, said that atoms cannot be cut down further, whereas John Dalton proposed the theory that atoms are indivisible and indestructible particles. It means atom cannot be created nor it can be destroyed. Later on, these theories and hypotheses were proven wrong by some other scientists. Do you guys want to know how the discovery of fundamental particles of atom that is, neutron, proton, and electron led to failure of Dalton's theory. Let's see who were the people behind the discovery of fundamental particles of an atom. They were none other than James Chadwick, who discovered neutron in the year 1932, Eugen Goldstein, who discovered proton in the year 1886. An electron was discovered by Sir J. J. Thompson in the year 1897. I know you guys are very curious to know about the structure of atom. This is how a single atom looks like. Atom consists of neutron, proton and electron. Neutron does not carry any charge on them while proton carry positive charge and Electron have negative charge. In atoms, electron revolve around the nucleus. The nucleus consists of protons and neutrons. Note down this. In atom, the number of electron and number of proton is equal to maintain the electrical neutrality of an atom. An atom has different shell and orbitals in which electron revolves. The energy level of each shell is different from other shell. First shell is considered as K shell. Second shell is considered as L shell. Third shell is considered as M shell. And fourth shell is considered as N shell. As we go away from nucleus, strength of shell goes on decreasing. The last shell of an atom is known as valence shell. Similarly, last electron in valence shell is known as valence electron. And shell is denoted by small letter N. J.J. Thomson model. To understand the arrangement of proton and electron in atom, Sir J.J. Thomson came up with famous model known as J.J. Thompson model or plum pudding model because as in Christmas pudding the plums are embedded just like the electrons are embedded in this proton as you guys can see in this model the plums are negatively charged electron and the pudding is positively charged proton the dotted circle are negatively charged electron, the rest of the part is positively charged protons. In atoms, it is a similar case as in this pudding, where plums are embedded in it. Can you guys identify any similar kind of model among these fruits? Well, yes, it can be compared to watermelon. In this, the pulp of watermelon can be considered as proton which is positively charged and the seed is considered as electron. Now let's see the difference between proton and electron. Proton. Proton is subatomic particle in atom nucleus and has a positive charge. Whereas electron is subatomic particle that orbits the atom's nucleus and has negative charge. The mass of proton is 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 27 kg whereas mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 
kg. Charge on proton is plus 1 and charge on electron is minus 1 as proton is positively charged and electron is negatively charged. Its location. Proton is situated inside the atomic nucleus while electron is around the nucleus. Removal. Protons are hard to remove from atom and electrons can be easily removed as compared to proton as proton is situated inside the nucleus and electron is outside the nucleus. Thank you. Thank you Baijus for giving this opportunity to me.